For his sensational contribution to the fields of material science, Mayo Kaku has confirmed that the James Webb Space Telescope has seen six enormous structures that experts previously thought could not exist. These observations have the potential to open up new perspectives on how we understand the universe. The discovery is both promising and progressive, challenging existing theories about the evolution and movement of galaxies. Therefore, it is essential to stay informed about these updates. Confirmation by such a recognized expert highlights the significance of these discoveries. Mayo Kaku was an influential figure in the scientific community, a physicist of American and Japanese heritage. He is regarded as an authority in both traditional experimental material science and quantum mechanics. Unlike some more conservative and hesitant experts, Kaku has been open to the surprising results of the James Webb Space Telescope mission. His eagerness to embrace new discoveries and share them with the public demonstrates his commitment to advancing our understanding of the universe. We are pleased that this esteemed expert has chosen to break his silence and openly share what can no longer be denied. The excitement and enthusiasm of the renowned physicist are evident in his comments on the findings from the James Webb Space Telescope, showing that this has been a factor that has piqued his interest. Join us to explore the implications of Mayo Kaku's revelation of these six colossal galaxies. Kaku was a researcher who has always been willing to consider new theories. Throughout his life, he has shown a receptiveness to ideas that challenge conventional understanding, recognizing that Einstein's theories of relativity and Newton's laws, while fundamental, are insufficient to explain the full complexity of the universe. Kaku values that the discoveries of the new telescope have the potential to advance the field of cosmology, yet many of his colleagues still have not embraced this view. This has caused concern and unease among supporters of the Big Bang theory and critics of quantum mechanics. However, this only induces laughter from Kaku. The JWST has revealed the discovery of six giant galaxies tracing back to the earliest times of the universe. Each of these magnificent galaxies contains more stars than our own Milky Way, despite having formed just 200 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. The group of astronomers who made the discovery has named these remarkable galaxies universe breakers, as, once confirmed, they would radically change our understanding of the universe. The implications of these discoveries are immense, suggesting that the universe's early years were far more robust and complex than previously thought. Something no longer fits. The existing theory of how things came to be tells us that the universe was chaotic after the initial event. The first solid objects took a vast number of years to form, and it took significantly more time for these objects to reach sufficient density and produce light. The development of complex structures like galaxies was believed to occur much later. Some of the newly discovered galaxies surpass the Milky Way in size, and their immense brightness suggests that they were possibly forming many new stars each year, while our system forms stars irregularly. It remains unclear precisely when the first galaxies formed, scientists have not yet settled this. What is clear is that initially, there could have been only single stars or groups of stars, which eventually merged to form massive structures until dwarf galaxies grew. Smaller galaxies developed over time into incredibly large and massive galaxies once thought incapable of existing at that time. This raises the question of whether the universe is much older than recently recognized or whether complex cosmic structures formed much earlier. This scenario is difficult to accept for traditional science, which still finds problems with this model. Some parts of physics have strongly dismissed this discovery, questioning possible errors in age estimates. Kaku was aware of this and had this to say, there are various models of old and fascinating theories that persist because of the influence of certain experts. Many of these theories were only uncovered when basic research revealed their flaws. Thus, the keyword in any science, especially in physics, lies with the experimentalists who keep the theorists alert and aware. On Earth, we have, in fact, very little information about the actual origins of the universe. This statement from Kaku emphasizes the importance of constant experimentation and validation in the scientific process. The theory of how things came to be was established in 1927 based on observations of the universe's expansion. This information led to the conclusion that the universe began from a specific point and has been expanding ever since. At the time, it was hard for people and scientists to imagine a universe with both a beginning and an end. The idea of a universe that had always existed and was infinite in scope was beyond human imagination. Even today, 
experts still struggle to comprehend it. However, it is essential to consider these possibilities, regardless of whether these new discoveries align with what scientists have accepted for decades about the Big Bang Theory. Science has consistently shown that re-evaluation and openness to change are essential for groundbreaking ideas as part of the scientific process, just like the acceptance of certain theories and observations. When Einstein was young, it was once accepted that stars and planets were firmly fixed in the universe and that these particular planets occupied a defined space. However, we now know that everything in the universe is in motion. Planets orbit stars, move within their galaxies at speeds of several kilometers per second, and entire galaxies travel rapidly through the universe, whose fate we still cannot predict. This extraordinary understanding of the universe challenges long-held beliefs and highlights the need for constant inquiry and change in scientific thought. Today, experts are challenged to accept inconvenient truths and understand that theories are not absolute certainties until they are fully tested or confirmed by accurate observation. The Big Bang theory emerged from the recognition that galaxies are receding from one another, and this distance is relative to their separation from Earth. This observation, known as Hubble's law, suggested that the universe was expanding over time. Factors such as cosmic background radiation and the redshift of light from distant galaxies, along with other cosmological patterns, seem to support this theory. However, it is important to remember that in the past, people who believed the Earth was flat and that the Sun revolved around us also had observational evidence for their beliefs until new events or technological advancements provided a clearer picture. Currently, we are witnessing a similar situation. Analysts speculated that the new James Webb Space Telescope would confirm questions related to the Big Bang. However, instead, they encountered these six galaxies that seemed impossible. This demonstrates that science is continually evolving, and analysts must remain open to new discoveries and reconsider existing theories based on available evidence. The surprising discoveries challenged current understanding and prompted a reassessment of well-established cosmology. In their research, scientists use redshift as a tool to determine various measurements in the study of the universe. Redshift, also known as the Doppler effect, refers to the change in the color of light as light sources and observers move relative to each other. To understand this, imagine standing still and hearing a car approaching you. As the car gets closer, its engine grows louder. However, when the car passes you or moves away, the sound changes. This is because sound waves change as the car moves. The same principle applies to light. When a light source, such as a distant star, moves towards us, the light shifts to bluer colors. Conversely, when the light source moves away, the light shifts to redder colors. This phenomenon is called redshift. Physicists have converted redshift values into speeds and distances for measurements in the study of the universe. However, it is crucial to note that even a small error in these measurements can have significant effects. The measurement techniques previously used are now under review. The latest discoveries related to our universe require consideration of whether they are truly based on redshift errors or whether some scientists are simply denying the facts. This is a question that requires careful assessment and a thorough review of the data and methods used in the research. The ongoing examination and reassessment of measurement methods highlight the evolving nature of scientific inquiry. Thank you for watching the video. As always, we encourage you to post your questions in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button, share it so it reaches more people, and subscribe to the feed so you don't miss more content like this. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. This call to action encourages viewers to engage with the content fostering a community of curious minds eager to explore and understand the latest scientific discussions. The study of our universe, with its vast distances and complex celestial bodies, continues to fascinate and challenge scientists worldwide, from early theories about the universe to the latest discoveries made